What's good? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Hemi John, back with another Mopar Monday. So this is what we're doing on this Mopar Monday. Let me show you guys. I got the, the shocks out for Maggie, and we're headed to AutoZone because I cannot get that little bolt off right there, and I need like a vice grip. If not, I will be picking up some more shocks. I got some in from uh, Amazon Detroit Axle um, shocks, and I actually had to do this on my first Magnum. So, um, but unfortunately, I don't have like a, a vice to hold it in place or vice grips. So we're gonna run up here and see. But if they have the ones up here with the sleeve already on them. I might just pick up some and send those other ones back. So anyway, we're going to run up in here. Be hollering back at you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So we back in the G-Rodge. And sure enough, the little vice grips and this uh, 15 open-end wrench. Got it off. If, you get, if you're doing these, you're going to need this plate. And then this sleeve. Jonathan Jr., if you hold that, I'll pull the sleeve off, hopefully. There's the sleeve. Actually, I don't think we're going to need the sleeve. But let me look and see. It already has a sleeve. These already have a sleeve. So, um, But basically... It's kind of dark, but you guys can see it. Let me turn the light on here. All right, there we go. Um, you just have three bolts. Well, you have two up here. And then you have, let me get in here. Then you have one long bolt right in there. And it comes right out. And then you can put your, your new shock on. And there it is. All right, so we're going to get this. Button up, put back together, be hollering back at you. All right. So I'm back. I'm over here on the other side. Look at that. These have never been taken out. So got all, got these bolts up here out. And actually, I got this one down here loose. I just need to get it out. Like I said, I picked these, the new ones up off of Amazon from Detroit Axle. And I actually, I changed my ones out on my first Magnum I had. Get that camera to focus, my goodness. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. But this is a relatively should be a relatively short process like I said the time of these videos have been made but it's it's not a lot to it the rear is not bad changing these out yourself kind of hard trying to hold this camera get it all out that's a long boat but anyway I'm gonna slap this new one in here like I said we'll wrap this video up all right and I'm back so what you do now is get it up in there. Probably gonna have to compress it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's that's a major difference between how loose the the old ones were. It might take a little bit to get it up in there. Put a little muscle on it. And actually, there we go. I think I need to turn it the other way. So we're gonna turn it around. There we go. There we go. And then make sure you got everything lined up down there to put your bolt through. Uh, it looks like it is. If not, we'll adjust it. But make sure I 
you got your bottom one in first, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So, pretty much just self explanatory. We're going to get it all wrapped up, and then we're going to wrap this video up. All right. All right, so we're back. We're wrapping this video up. Um, like I said, the last thing we needed to do was do a test drive and really see how, you know, it does. Because the body roll was so bad, <laughs> even my dad was complaining about it. You know, in which, you know, these big land yachts, like they call them, they have, you know, a lot of body roll. They're bigger cars, but uh, shouldn't have that much play in it. So, so far, uh, Jacob, he's in the back. So, and uh, he said it feels real good. We're going to get in a run and call it a day. So, again, this is Hemi John from Mopar Mondays. Hope everybody's having a good, safe week. Again, take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Holla at your boy. Peace.